Mandy from Mandy and Cheek, and I have been asked since Michael's released their string journals what the difference is between this and a Chic Dory or a regular faux Dory or Traveler's Notebook. And there are some things that I've noticed, and as somebody who uses Traveler's Notebooks, I thought this would be a really fun video to film. So I went ahead and I grabbed my three Chic Dories that I use regularly, and then I grabbed I purchased one of the string journals from Michaels and I wanted to show you guys a little bit kind of what it is and what I like about it, what I don't like about it. I bought this one at Michaels and it is $14.99. It, re it retails for $14.99 but you can use your coupons on these. So I think I actually ended up paying $8 for it. And it comes with two inserts and an elastic band. Now the first thing that I notice as a as someone who makes Traveler's Notebooks and who uses Traveler's Notebooks is the difference in the feel. This is a Chic Dory um, with my jacked up dashboard in there so let's just ignore that. But this is a Chic Dory and this is one that's from my shop. You can tell that that's a really thick leather and that this is real leather. This is faux leather. Um, it's like a vinyl feeling. It comes in many colors and then the inside is like this foam felt. If you wanted to get in Traveler's Notebooks, I don't think this is a bad thing. But let me tell you some things that, that are different between this and most other Traveler's Notebooks because if you get discouraged with this, I don't want you to think that all Traveler's Notebooks are like that because they're not. Um, the first thing is this does not have like an elastic band like what these do that go around it. So that's how you keep your notebook shut. Now let me show you my cheek door that I actually use every single day. You see how this one is, it has notebooks in it and it has three notebooks in it. And it feels substantial but it doesn't feel heavy. It feels like, like a traveler's notebook. Um, thick leather. This has a suede cord on it and while I like the idea of the suede cord, I'm not knocking the suede cord, it gets cumbersome to constantly have to wrap your journal when you close it. But I think it's cute. So, you know, I think that that's a matter of personal preference. I personally barely remember to put the elastic on my sheet story, so I could not handle that. What I would probably do to this is I would probably take this off and, because it's just held in here like this, and put an elastic band around it and attach the charms on it. But I wanted to show you guys this as it comes from Michaels. Now, again, I, I had said that this Traveler's Notebook is like a faux leather. You know, it's pretty, like you can scratch it, but it's not, it doesn't have the, the leather feel. Um, it doesn't, if you roll this, you're basically rolling vinyl and it's not going to show like anywhere, right? That, if you like this look or you don't want to purchase leather, in this could be an option for you. So it doesn't look bad. I mean, it doesn't, it, it looks like a vinyl leather journal. Like to me, like I could tell that this isn't real leather. Um, it is also very floppy. Um, there's really no su support from the cover itself. So you would risk your notebooks getting damaged because in your purse, if you throw this in there, these will just, they'll, they'll curl around whatever it hits, if that makes sense. Whereas with a leather, with a leather product, you're getting a lot more protection from it, or protection on it. I've had this notebook in my planner for three months now, two months now, actually two months, and it looks brand new. Um, it doesn't look like anything's happened to it. I've had this one in there for a couple weeks, and actually no, I've had this one in here. This is my new one, so that one is new. But I had this one in my Chic Dory for a month and it still looks really good. You're not going to get the same protection with this that you'll get with an actual other notebook. I don't like the photo. See how this crease is like that? So you, now I feel like I want to like crease the whole thing because I have this big crease here. Now the inside of this has dog hair on it. Imagine that in my new end. The inside of this has like this faux almost like a felt feeling to it and it flakes off. Um, mine's already flaking off on all of my corners. It doesn't stay put. It's 
it's I mean it's cool because it feels cool but the other thing is when you're writing on it it's very pliable so when I write like with my fountain pen I feel like I'm scratching the cover which is not good but again these are extremely disposable for the price you get two notebooks with it. You get one notebook that is considered a narrow version, which is four and a half inches wide. Um, I believe this is a standard or a narrow. Yeah, this is a narrow four and a half inches wide, not quite four and a half inches wide. Um, with traveler's notebooks, you know, you can do four and a half inches wide or five and a half or five inches wide. I personally like five inches wide because I like the extra space. But you get two notebooks and then you get one that is like a craft paper. I love that they include notebooks with it. But this is very deceiving, you guys. Very, very, very deceiving. You would think you have two elastic bands to hold your notebooks together. You do not. Um, this style only has one functioning elastic band that you can use. Wow, there's dog hair like all over in this. So, and you can also see where the bands have been rubbing on this and it's coming off. So you could put a smaller notebook in here like you could put maybe like a field note size and then have like a, right, a narrow size in here. But I don't know why Michaels didn't just move these around like this. And so you could put two notebooks in there. If Michaels would have done that, this would not be a bad option. Um, I just don't care for the floppy feel of it. Um, I just don't think it's going to protect anything. But... Here's my thing, if you like floppier notebooks, you might like this. For me, I couldn't function with it only having the one band. Um, I know you know you can use these to attach notebooks with and stuff like that. I don't think from like a budget point of view, it is a bad option. I think it, for $8, it's not bad. I do think that for $15, it is overpriced um, for what you're getting. Because you're essentially getting vinyl with foam on the inside. Now, I do like the fact that you can buy inserts for these at Michael's. Um, I don't know how long they will have them for, but I, I, I like that idea. Um, they don't have anything that's lined or, or grid notebook or anything, but you know, having these, most schemes will fit in them. So if you just wanted something to throw in your purse just to put notes in, not a bad option. So this one is a normal chic dory that comes from my shop. And I mean, sizing wise, the Chic Dory is a teeny bit bigger, but that's because we do ours a little bit bigger to make sure that the notebooks are fully protected. And that way the notebooks don't butt right up against the edge. This one comes in many, many, many different colors. Most traveler's notebooks come in many different colors. I think we have like 12 colors now on shopminijeanchic.com. The inside, when you open them, this is a dyed leather. So it's very, very, very durable. And you have, this Chic Dory has just two bands, but we are now going to have the option where you can pick two bands or four bands. I know most people are gonna pick four bands because two is just, two is just not enough. You know, when you really get into traveler's notebooks, you wanna stuff them, you wanna put many notebooks in there, you wanna take your notebooks in and out. So I don't think two bands is enough. Um, I think three bands, three to four bands are the way to go, but it's a personal preference. This one, like I said, the inside is like this faux, like it's almost like a velvet, I, I don't know, it's like a velvet foam. Um, but things stick to the inside of it and it does come off, so the durability is not great on this. Now, you only have one band that you can use functionally with regular size notebooks. Um, most traveler's notebooks are between two and four bands and if like the feel of them this is is very floppy where this has some substance to it and this is going to really protect your notebooks on the inside also hello smell of leather smells so good but those are like the biggest differences with these like i said this is with a coupon like nine dollars in a store and this starts out in my shop for 35. now the biggest difference to me and this is to me, this is to Chic Sparrow, this is to Foxy Fix, this is to anybody who makes artisan products, is when you're purchasing something like this because it's cheap, 
you're purchasing something that it goes back to like the company. Do you know what I mean? Um, if you purchase this, the profits go back to the company and the company gets bigger. If you purchase a Chic Sparrow, a Foxy Fix, a Melon Dory, a Happy Scrappy, um, a Chic Dory, a Buteo Bunker, all of these Traveler's Notebooks, I mean, there's a bunch of them that make Traveler's Notebooks now. You're buying from the artisan. You're buying from the person that hand cuts these, hand makes these, hand dyes these, hand strings them. Every, every single step that goes into making these leather Traveler's Notebooks is done by hand. You can have so many different like customized options. You have, you're buying an artisan product. And that is something that is important to me, not just as an artisan, but as a consumer. Um, I don't know where are these are, where are these made? Made in China, made in the USA. That matters to me. So if that's something that matters to you, you can justify the, the price difference. But I do understand if you wanna try out a traveler's notebook before you make the leap to purchasing something that it is something that's going to last you for a very long time. I, I understand, like, purchasing a little bit of a cheaper option. But there's things about this that you're not going to have to worry about with, like, a Chic Sparrow or a Chic Dory. This is a Chic Dory with a Chic Dory or with a Foxy Fix because there is, like, a, a difference of quality. So I don't want this video to be like offensive or anything like that because that's not what this video is about. This video is about like showing you guys the difference between the two products. One is an artisan made product and one is a manufactured product. One is 30, starting out at $35 and one is starting out at 15, but you can use a coupon on it. So one thing I wanted to do in this video is if you want to purchase a Chic Dory from my shop, which is Shop Mandy Jean Chic, and you want to make that commitment to buy something that is handmade by an artisan, that is made in the USA, if that's something that is very important to you, down below you'll see a coupon code. And you can use that coupon code on anything on my shop. I don't run sales normally on the Chic Dories and the leather binders because we're priced so much lower than a lot of our competitors. But if you want to get into the Traveler's Notebook scene, I guess is how I want to say it, I would love to offer that coupon code to you guys because it's my way of saying, you know, yes, if you feel the same way that I do about purchasing artisan and supporting artisans and purchasing handmade, I would love to extend that to you guys. So if that's something you're interested in, look down below because there will be that coupon code. And if you have any questions on like my chic dories or traveler's notebooks in general leave me a comment below i would gladly answer them i absolutely love my traveler's notebook this is like my go-to one here you guys have seen this one a lot on my instagram this is my my kimber dory everyone calls it a kimber dory because i had my sheba embossed on it so and her name is kimber so everyone calls it the kimber dory but you know i just i love this product i love the traveler's notebooks i love you know having something that again is handmade so if you enjoyed this video i would love to hear what you think about the difference between you know if if you would buy this over this i would like to know why down below um not to like challenge you on or anything like that that's not my intention but i want to know like what the appeal is to to this versus something that's different if that makes sense like i hope that's not like <laughs> I hope that didn't come across as like offensive because that's not what I mean. I just want to know like stuff that I do with the Leather Cole Shop, which is the shop that we're going to be opening that's going to be doing all of this. Right now everything's on shopmandyjeanchic.com. I want to know what you guys want to add to these. What options you like, what colors you like, um, you know, things like that. Like that is the kind of stuff that is important to me as an artisan. So leave me comments below. I would love to chit chat with you guys about these. I absolutely love the Traveler's Notebooks. Again, I don't think this is bad. Like I'm not bashing it at all. I just think that there are some significant differences. And if you were to buy this and there were certain things you didn't like about it, don't hold that against every Traveler's Notebook. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.